Here we have the Kia Optima GT Line S Sports Wagon Automatic on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows around the rear. Let's start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll work our way around the rest of the car from there. So the tailgate on this car will open electronically. You can either do that by pressing the button on the tailgate itself or the button on the bottom of the key here. Hold that button and the tailgate will open, as you can see it doing now. Uh, this car's got twin exhaust pipes and reversing sensors. It also has a reversing camera, which I'll show you when we're inside the car. And as you can see, loads of boot space along with a 60-40 split folding rear seat as well. So we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car now and then we'll hop in and run through those controls. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see that it's in fantastic condition the whole way around and a really lovely looking car as well actually. Just briefly before I climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get these full leather seats with the red stitching, which matches the stitching on the steering wheel and gear lever gaiter. There are plenty of controls to run through in this car, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now they're inside the car, we're going to start off with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the trip computer, which includes the total miles for this car, which are 5,266. The information that's displayed above that can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel, so there's various different bits of fuel economy information, and then along the top, there's various different menus, so satellite navigation, uh, your lane assist, uh, your audio, vehicle settings, and user settings and then all the way back around to the driver data menu again probably one of the most useful figures on there is this one that you're looking at now which is the digital readout for the speedometer if we back out to the steering wheel on the right hand side the buttons i was using a moment ago are just here but we've also got cruise control over this side as well this button when cruise control is set will help the car maintain a distance between you and the car in front so the right hand side of the steering wheel you can see that we've got uh, the seats are electric on this car these are the two memory settings for those seats and down here you can turn on the lane assist system and also blind spot monitoring, uh, monitoring system. Now there's videos on our website and Facebook page showing how all of those things work. On the left hand side of the steering wheel we've got stereo controls as well as voice activation for the phone. So hit that button, ask it to dial any one of your contacts list and it'll do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. That is of course once you paired the phone which is done on the touch screen in the centre here. If we go to the main menu you would hit the button that says phone and then just follow the on-screen instructions from there. Uh, this car's got satellite navigation. There's a video again showing how that works on our Facebook page and on our website, so it's well worth checking that out. In terms of the ways to listen to music on this car, uh, we have DAB, FM and AM radio. Uh, this car also has uh, many other ways besides that to listen to your music. If we were to hit the media button and connect up devices, we can listen to music via uh, USB input, uh, via auxiliary input. We can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio. And if you have an Apple device, this car has Apple CarPlay as well. So connect up your, uh, your Apple phone uh, via the USB cable that it came with and you'll have uh, kind of, if you like, a projection of your phone screen up on here. So you can use things like Spotify, for example. Working our way down, We've got the main stereo controls for the car, so volume, and you can access radio and media from here if you'd rather not use the touch screen. And then below that, we've got dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the temperature independently on either side of the car. The temperature itself will show up in the top corners of that box there, same as the fan speed. The increasing and decreasing of that will show up there as well. That button will turn the air conditioning on, or you can hit auto, and the car will maintain the temperatures you've asked for by itself by taking control of the fan speed and you can simply override the fans to turn that off. Underneath that, we have a little cubby hole that will open and close just here. We've got a 12 volt charging socket, the USB and auxiliary input that I mentioned a moment ago. We then have the fully automatic gearbox. If I pop the car into reverse, I mentioned uh, when we were at the back of the car that we had a reversing camera. This car's actually got a 360 camera. So at the minute you're seeing a reverse image uh, and a bird's eye view of the car, which is fantastic. You can change the image that's displayed using the buttons on here. So you can look at various different independent wheels, as you can see, or the one we were on originally, which is probably the most uh, useful one, is the all-round image for the car. Let me pop that back into park. And we've got a whole host of buttons here as well. So this will change the view of the camera, or you can use the buttons I was just pressing a moment ago. We can turn off the stop and start from here. 
Driver mode will change the way the gearbox and steering wheel react, so you can change it to sport mode, for example, or winter mode if we have snow. We have a heated steering wheel, which is fantastic for the winter. And one of the really great features, again, there's a video explaining this further on our uh, Facebook page. We have heated seats and air conditioned seats for both driver and passenger. So great for the winter, really good for the summer as well. And finally, we have an auto park function. So press that button. This car is capable of parking itself. Again, there's a video showing how that works on our Facebook page, which is well worth checking out. And finally, we're going to end on the panoramic glass sunroof for this car. So there's a little button up here. Hit that and the blind will open all the way up and the front section of the roof also slides back as well. So lets in a huge amount of light and air, of course. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.